Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. So the first card is uh, the, uh, the clove, which is talking about luck coming in for you. So your luck is changing and it looks like a lot of money coming in because the card crowning it is the pig, which is talking about a lot of finances coming in and that's long-term finances and also uh, the fish card coming in. So there's a change in financial situation and money coming in through whatever work you're doing. Now you've got the moon card in the past. So there's some, being, some fame, acclaim coming in for you over there, some recognition of all your efforts that you've been doing. And it looks like you may have signed a new job contract as well. And this is the thing that is going to bring in a lot of money and wealth. Now you've got going into the future, the rose card over here so this is uh, if you've been having any health issues this is return to good health um, and this is also prosperity coming in with that rose card and whatever position you're going to get it's going to be a leadership position and you're going to be very much in charge of that particular position uh, in charge of a lot of people really you're going to be leading the way over there so those are the energies for those two weeks so i'm using the um law of attraction tarot for the main read I'll just uh, cut that deck. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, you've got the Six of Swords over here. So you're trying to find some balance and there might be some, uh, you know, issues that you were dealing with uh, and you are now trying to move away from those difficult issues or difficult problems. There may have been some communication issues over here. Um, you can see uh, things are not really balanced over here or this um, you know, circle seems, uh, this half of the circle seems darker uh, or bigger than that, that side. So you have got problems that you're dealing with, but there are people around you that are trying to help you. So you have some colleagues around you that are giving you some advice and helping you get through a very difficult situation. So there is some kind of power play issue going on over here. You are butting heads with somebody. There might be some kind of, um, legal issue that you're dealing with because this is about swords and swords deals with legalities uh, so you, somebody is uh, presenting some kind of challenge or opposition there's a power play going on over here and you know you seem to be uh, stuck at an impasse over here with this person uh, they're uh, you know almost equally matched uh, um, against you there's some kind of decision as well that you need to make as well and you need to make it from a very logical point of view but all in all it should be quite successful whatever happens you've got this ace of rods coming in over here so a lot of energy and power coming into you, uh, into your hand. There's the new sunrise of here. So a new beginning, a new project or beginning a new phase in life. So there might be some, uh, somebody opposing the new ideas that you have, uh, been proposing and they might be uh, preventing you from actually, uh, going forth and, uh, manifesting that particular idea. So in the past, you've got the eight of rods over here. So a lot of movement, a lot of energy. It looks like things were starting to hot up, if you like. You can see this whip stirring the scream over here. So, uh, you know, things are starting to take shape, but also a lot of uh, challenges that you've been facing and you've had to adapt to those challenges. Now you're starting afresh. You've got this new beginning card over here, starting a new journey, starting a new path uh, in the last few months. So you've taken uh, control of that situation and of your life and you're starting afresh. You've got the King of Pentacles on your mind over here, so you are trying to establish yourself into some sort of authority position, or you're trying to be in a leadership position, and uh, you you know you're hoping that the money comes in with that. So you're working pretty hard. You might be doing some studying or some kind of course as well to get yourself uh, promoted into that kind of position. So going into the future, you've got this Knight of Pentacles, and this is working very, very hard and being very, very focused on your work. You might as well, uh, you know, you might be doing uh, a lot of work over the internet as well. Uh, but there's a lot, a lot of learning. There's a, there's a very steep learning curve coming up for you over here, and you're very, very focused on your work and working very independently, uh, working on your own. Now there's something that you need to take that risk in. You've got that Ace of Swords. You've got to be very single-minded, very focused, very determined in order to do something, and you need to take the risk. So if it's a new job that is coming in or something new that you have to do you have to take that chance and you have to go for it so this is uh you know being bold being brave and uh, you know just um 
uh, putting aside any kind of um, confidence issues that you have and just going for it. And this card says that, you know, you will be successful. So you have to take that chance and that in order for you to bring in success in your life. You've got the Eight of Swords over here. So you are walking away from a very difficult situation. You may have lost your job. There may have been some kind of problem that you dealt with. You're still, uh, you know, recovering from it. You're still crying over it. You're still upset about it. This is a very dark card. You can see there's a lot of rain in this card. So you are crying quite a bit from it, but you are moving away from it. You are coming to terms with it. Whatever stress is caused, you are uh, learning how to deal with it. It caused a lot of heartbreak for you. Now, you've got this king of rods over here. So you are trying to get to the top of whatever you're doing. Now, this is your card. So you are trying to establish your strength, your authority, and your power. And you are now starting to act with confidence. Now, this could also be that somebody around you is coming to give you some kind of assistance. Maybe you're hoping that somebody comes and does that for you, comes and gives you a hand, or, you know, uh, shows you the way on how to actually do this, how to conquer this particular problem. Now, going into the future... You have got uh, the hanged man over here, or the hermit, sorry. This is the hermit card rather than the hanged man. And you've got the king of cups over here, and you've got the knight of cups over here. So uh, this is about being focused in your work and maybe doing some further study or maybe doing some further course in order for you to proceed forward. This is also spending a lot of time by yourself. So you're going to be very, very focused, working very, very independently, and also reaching an expertise level. Uh, this is a card ruled by Virgo, and Virgo is that sign of being an expert in that field that you're doing. And it's a long, long only road as well and you know you're going to spend a lot of hours put in a lot of time but at the end of it you know you will have um, be very enlightened uh, in that particular field and you know a lot of people will be referring uh, back to you for advice You've got this king of cups over here. So once you get into that particular position where you specialize, you're going to probably take on a role of being a teacher or a mentor or somebody who gives advice, uh, you know, a consultant of some kind uh, where people come to you as an expert for uh, in that particular field. And this is going to allow you to, you know, it's going to bring in a lot of job opportunities. Maybe you're going to be able to seal in new deals, but it's also, you know, this is the knight of cups over here. So this offer that uh, it's going to bring in new offers and open new doors and, and give you the opportunity of making new friends or even uh, establishing new business relationships. That will definitely come in and these will gonna be, are going to be good long-term business relationships that are, will generate a lot of finances. So whatever you're studying for, whatever you're working for as well with this Knight of Pentacles, it's also about study. It's going to turn you into that expert. So you've got that hermit card showing that you are doing some kind of course. You are enhancing your field, um, enhancing all your skills and improving your uh, your uh, expanse of knowledge as well and it's going to turn you into that teacher that mentor but it's also going to open a lot of doors for you to meet a lot of people and collaborate with a lot of people so you need to take that risk you, you need to be bold and this is also getting victory in any kind of situation so if you're battling with somebody that is opposing uh, you know your growth or preventing you from moving forward it looks like you are going to be able to conquer that kind of situation and move away from it with uh, you know move away from whatever has been troubling you as well so I am just going to uh, draw some cards from the fairy tarot. And uh, this is for the oracle read. And the first card is the eight of autumn, which says, uh, do more research before proceeding education in the form of seminars, going back to school, apprenticeships and excellent craftsmanship long-term projects. So it looks like, you know, you are going to be learning on the job as well and you are becoming an expert in this particular field. So you are, um, you, it looks like there is that field of study opening up for you or, uh, you know, extra uh, learning opportunities coming in your way, especially even with this hermit card. You'll be learning on the job, becoming an expert and also giving advice. You can see this old lady giving advice to this young girl so it looks like you know you're becoming that expert in a field in your field and you will be giving a lot of advice and maybe even mentoring people maybe training up people as well you've got the eight of winter which says that you have what it takes if only you believe in yourself and thinking uh, that you are powerless when you are not um, uh, and also there's a lack of self-confidence that keeps you from getting what you want. So there's some kind of confidence issues going on. Maybe in the past, people uh, made you feel really small, and maybe because you've got this opposition coming up, uh, you know, where you're butting heads with somebody or you're having people that are opposing you, it's been uh, knocking your confidence. Now, with this Ace of um, uh, Swords as well, it's telling you to take, be bold and act with confidence and be very single-minded. And with this Eight of Winter, it says you have what it takes and you just need to believe in yourself. Then you've got the release card over here, which is letting go of the past, 
an ending that makes way for new opportunities and time to move on. So you're ending difficult situations and you will now be able to move on. This is the death card and this means transformation and change. And it, it will come suddenly and you will make a clean break from whatever is, uh, you've been dealing with and you will move forward. So there looks like there is going to be a lot of learning coming up for you in the future. Uh, maybe spending a lot of time by yourself and being very, very focused on your work. And it looks like this is going to be the thing that opens the doors for you to meet more people and for you to reach those goals that you want, which is to become, um, you know, uh, very empowered, uh, but also to get that leadership position. But you do need to take a chance and you do need to act with confidence uh, um, in order to get what you want. And it looks like there are going to be people that help you with the Six of Swords. Um, it will help you move away from difficult um, situations. Uh, they are going to be there to give you that assistance and advice. And just be positive. And uh, so I hope that this reading has resonated with you. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Leave me some comments uh, if these messages have resonated with you. Thank you for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.